Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to track stock performance with the stock history function in Microsoft Excel. Today's question comes from Roger in Riverside, California, one of my gold members. Roger says, I loved your video on tracking my stock portfolio. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any way that I can pull up a history of a particular stock's performance so I can see how it's trending? Yes, of course, Roger. Excel 365 has a great function called stock history that you can use to get a past performance of all of the stock's closing values, opening values, whatever, going back as many years as you want. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. First up, if you haven't watched my stock portfolio video, go watch that first. Okay, you don't really have to, but it kind of goes before this one. I'll put a link down below in the link section in the description below the video. Go click on that. Go watch that and then come back here. Go on. Go do it. And second thing, what I'm about to show you, the stock history function only works in Excel 365. So you have to have an Excel 365 subscription from Microsoft. You can't use the older versions of Excel or the standalone Excel 2019. However, if you do any stock analysis whatsoever in Excel, it's definitely worth the price of a subscription. Okay, so let's begin by putting in which stock we want to check. So I'll put stock in A1 and then a ticker symbol like MSFT. We'll check Microsoft. Let's put in a start date, which is going to be, let's go back five years. All right, so I'll put in here 1-1-2016, one, one, uh, let's say. Okay, it's currently 2021. I know sometimes these videos get watched 10 years in the future. I've got some of my old... YouTube videos that people are still commenting from like 2007. All right. And we'll, we'll make the end date today. Okay. So let's come over here and we're going to use the stock history function now to grab all that stock data. All right. So I'm going to say equals stock history, open parentheses, put your stock in there, comma, your start date right there, comma, your end date will be today, just like that. All right, and there are some other parameters. We'll talk about those in a minute. And press enter. All right, it says busy for a second, and then this table fills in with stock data. Let's just make this a little bit wider so we can see all that information. All right, there's a ton of information here. If you scroll down, right, we're getting every day's worth of information. Lots of it. For a long-term trend, you probably don't need that much information. So let's say I only want to see this stuff monthly. All right, show me every month. So let's go up here into stock history. Let's go right there, right after today, but before that closing parentheses, hit comma, and then we're going to pick monthly, which is two. All right, and then press enter. And there we go. It's a little better now. It gives us the monthly stock prices, right? And that's better for a long-term trend. If we're going back five years, I don't need to see every day. Now, it would also be nicer if instead of putting an actual date in here, I could say, show me the past year, the past five years, the past 10 years by just putting a number in there. That'd be easier, right? So let's come down to cell A3, type in years, and then put in one in there. All right. And again, I like the left justify this stuff. All right. So let's go up and edit the formula. Click right here. You got to click here, by the way. You can't just click anywhere inside this table. You got to click in cell D1, the upper left corner of it. All right, now we're going to change this. Instead of being an actual date, we're going to say today minus a certain number of days, right? So today's date minus how many days? Well, how many years is it? Let's put parentheses B3 times 365. Yeah, I know it's not exact with leap years, but for stock forecasting, it's good enough. So, right? so we're going to say 365 times B3 is the number of years you want to go back from today. And there you go. There's one year worth of data. Notice the size of the table will change depending on how much data is in there. Okay, so now we don't need you anymore. Just highlight those cells, right click, delete, and we'll shift cells up. And there we go. You want to change this easily to five years? Watch, five, boom. You get five years of the data. See that? That's pretty cool. Want to change your stock real quick? Just put in there IBM, enter. Boom, done. Okay. Okay, now, looking at all these numbers is a pain. Let's chart it. Let's make a little chart right here, a little line chart. Yeah, there's all kinds of advanced charts. You can do top-bottom charts. and all. I could spend, and I, and I do spend lots and lots and lots of time in my full Excel classes going over all the different kinds of charts. But we're just going to do a simple line chart. 
Now it's easier to create this chart if we just go with one year of data. So put one there. It's a nice smaller chart to create. Watch, you'll see the trick in just a minute. Okay, now I'm going to select this chart. Just highlight that entire chart right there. Go to insert. And then under the chart types here, pick the line chart. Just pick that first one. And you can see the preview right behind there. Click on it. And there you go. There's your little chart. All right, drag it out like that. Okay, not too fancy. All right, and instead of close up here, let's change that to maybe, you know, uh, stock performance or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's my chart. But I've only got one year worth of data here. Now, if you try changing this to back to five years, let's say, what happens is, is the range of this chart hasn't changed. See, if you click here, it's still that beginning box there. So what you want to do is you want to resize the parameters of this chart for the biggest period you think you're ever going to do. You're ever going to check. And unfortunately, no, you can't just select the whole column. It doesn't work. There's a long story behind it. So let's go over here. I think, I think 10 years is probably big enough for pretty much every stock. Or if you want to go crazy, make it 20 years. Let's go 20 years with the data. Some of them go back pretty well. I usually find, personally, I'm not a major investor. I, I dabble. But I think five years of performance is enough unless you're dealing with a really, really old company. Five years is usually good enough to see a trend. But if you want to do 20, that's fine. Now, how far down does 20 go? Let's scroll down. It's going to be 20 times 12, whatever that number is. Whoop, I went too far. All right, so we're down to... ah. There you are. 242. Remember that number, 242, right? E242 is the bottom boundary of our chart. That's as big as it's ever going to get. All right, so click on the outline of the chart. Go to Chart Design. Select Data. And right here, we're going to change this to E242. And then press Enter. All right, there you go. There's all 20 years of performance. Now, the nice thing about it is if I go back and change this back to, say, 5, the chart will deal with it. See, that we only have five years of data here now, but the chart adjusted accordingly. If the, if the range is too big, that's fine. It'll scale the chart down. You just can't go over 20, but I don't think you're going to ever go over 20 anyways. Here's 10 years. All right, there's 10-year performance. Uh-oh, IBM's kind of sliding if you look at that. If you want to see what the trend is, let's add a trend line. So come in here, click... Right click, go to add trend line. There it is. Linear is usually fine. I use linear myself for uh, for stock uh, analysis. I talk about the other types in my classes in detail. And if you scroll down here, all right, I want to go forward and get a forecast. All right, how many periods in the future do you want to forecast? Well, these are months. Let's forecast it out 12 months in the future. Okay, and then close that, and there you go. There's their trend line going out 12 months in the future. Let's change the company. Let's go to Microsoft again, MSFT, enter. And there's Microsoft's performance. So there you go. That's how you can get a quick stock performance for any stock, any number of years. Here's the data. Here's a chart with a trend line, so you can see how the, the, start, bleh, the stock is performing. <laughs> I talk a lot more about all the different chart types and options and all this different stuff in my Excel Beginner Level 4 class. I show you pretty much everything you need to know about charts. Pie charts and line charts and bar graph charts. Then we do a little bit with data tables. Lots of stuff. Excel Beginner 4. I'll put a link down below in the link section. If you want to learn more about stock history in Excel, in the extended cut for members, 20 minutes long, I'll show you how to make drop-down boxes, combo boxes, so you can pick the stock from your stock portfolio, which was from my stock portfolio sheet, the last Excel tech help that I did. And we'll pick the number of years from a list here as well. This way you could drop this box down here, pick someone like Delta, All right? There it is. Pick the number of years you want to check. You want to go 10 years for a longer trend. The bottom chart will stay 30 days. That's always going to be your short-term 30-day trend, and this guy changes for your long-term trend. And all of this comes from the portfolio that we made in the previous video. And if you didn't watch this one, go watch this video too. That is all covered in the Extended Cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my Extended Cut videos. 
and gold members can download these sheets that I build. Plus, if you do any work with Microsoft Access, I've got hundreds of videos for Microsoft Access in the Tech Help Library as well. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut Tech Help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. Gold members get access to download all of the sample spreadsheets that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my Code Vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, and more. Platinum members get access to all the previous perks, plus all of my beginner full courses and one new expert course every week. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for Excel. I also teach Word, Access, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. Now, when you do sign up to become a member, I need you to email me and tell me I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access because that's on my focus for the past few years. However, I'm happy to add more Excel videos if I get more Excel members. So make your voice heard, and I'll make lots more tech help lessons for Excel. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments that you have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon to select all and receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? If you're watching this video on YouTube, just click the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other related videos, additional information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. If you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of using Microsoft Excel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and it's free for all members of my channel at any level, even supporters. Just email me and let me know you signed up as a member. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page, and you can send me your question there. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by and check out my Excel forum. Be sure to follow my blog, and of course you can find me on Twitter and YouTube. And as always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. See you next time.